All right, so it's time for a build vlog. We are getting ready to put our loop together. So the first thing we need to do is prep our loop and get all of our radiators nice and clean. So whether they are new, old, or used, there's a different method for cleaning all of them. These are all new radiators, never had any water in it, but yes, they still need cleaned. So let's get started. Okay, so all of these radiators are brand new. They've never had water in them. They've never had anything else in them. They're not off eBay. They're not any of that. Uh, all straight out of the box from Bits Power. Now here's the trick. When these radiators are manufactured, put together, there's extreme temperatures going on. There's welding going on. There's a bunch of different things. There's copper interiors, aluminum plating on the outside. No matter how hard these manufacturers tried, they cannot possibly get every single thing out of mass producing radiators. So you're just not gonna be able to do it. There's corners that are cut and there could be different things inside the radiator that could get into your loop and cause damage to your loop or to your pump or to anything. So the first thing that you should always do, whether it's a new system or an old system or whatever, get some kind of, kind of prep cleaning solution. So um, there's a few different ones. There's the new system kit from Primo Chill. There's the existing system kit from Primo Chill. It's relatively self-explanatory. And then there's just radiator clean kit. So this comes with the radiator clean kit for cleaning the radiators. And then we're gonna prep it with some Primo Chill uh, loop prep stuff as well. But the first step here um, is actually putting this solution into distilled water, not spring water, distilled water you don't want anything living inside your radiators that is a big no-no so don't do it distilled water that's how you how you clean them so uh, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning these radiators the nice thing about this one radiator clean is that it is good for cleaning up to about eight different radiators uh, in our use case scenario we have two 420s uh, or sorry 480s if I can math and two 360s one happens to be a little bit thicker than the other, but let's go ahead. Uh, we're gonna start working on this together. So now I have distilled water. This is a gallon of distilled water, nice red cap. And basically what the back of Rad Clean will tell you to do is to dump half of this bottle into 32 ounces of water or the entire bottle into 64 ounces of water or um, because I don't think it's really the end of the world. I'm just going to dilute this entire bottle into a full gallon of distilled water. I will then use that distilled water to fill up each one of these radiators. Uh, I'm going to do them one at a time. Uh, that way I properly flush everything. But basically what I'm going to do is have a, this little um, guy right here that actually screws on. It comes in the kit. So it, it's a G1 uh, one quarter uh, threading and it'll screw in and then we can slowly fill the loop or we could just use this guy right here and then clean this extensively so this guy we already put our solution in it now it's just mixing it for a little while i'm going to actually probably get a bucket to do all of this in then we'll take our two little end fittings here and screw on to each side this is just so wire doesn't come flying out the other side um, not that you wouldn't already know, but keep the O-ring on it and make sure you get them in there nice and tight so you don't have leaking water all over wherever it is that you're doing all of this. Um, and then we are going to fill uh, this radiator and we'll go through all four radiators. Uh, we'll time everything out. And then what you need to do is once you fill this, you let it sit for an hour. You let that sit for an hour, move it around, swish it around a little bit. And then you need to flush this system extremely hard with like two or three gallons of distilled water. So we're going to run through probably, I'm going to assume 10 or 15 gallons of distilled water, making sure these things are absolutely as clean as humanly possible. So let's go ahead uh, and start dumping this into some radiators. All right, so what I did was I took our solution and put it in this fill bottle from Primo Chill. Now I'm going to take this radiator. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but you want to fasten these little uh, plugs that they have. They come with the um, actual O-ring on them. You want to go ahead and put these in so that you don't have water running out the back of it. Sometimes you might want a screwdriver to actually get them really nice and tight, but not really the end of the world. 
uh, if it comes out. I would just recommend putting like a paper towel under it once you actually do get it full. Uh, you do this for each radiator. Basically, um, once I got those on, and then I'll flip it over. I'll put one of the actual fittings on this side so that I'm only filling one side. Get that going. Actually, I'll leave that off until I can see the water coming up the other side. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, you can take the G104 or the G1 quarter threading uh, funnel and screw that guy in. Um, you don't have to do that. It just can be somewhat helpful to try and direct the water the direction if I didn't screw up the threads on it already. That's perfectly fine. Now, <clears throat> what you can do is just like stick this nozzle down in here and start spraying. That takes for bloody ever. Um, so what I recommend is just risking it for the biscuit, <clears throat> watching what you're doing, and just dump this guy in. And we'll go ahead and do that. So as I feel, I bought a bunch of, well, I bought four 32 ounce bottles of the fluid that I'm going to use. I feel like two of those are going to be useless. But uh, it'll be good that I already have it for when I go to do uh, a just kind of re-clean and dump out all the liquid. Now, um, this is where things go awry and you put a little bit too much in and the only thing that you can do is get it everywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. Attempt to clean your mess up a little bit. And then put your last fittings back on. You don't have to tighten these things down like crazy. These are just the fittings that came, the stop fittings that came with the actual radiator. And then what I like to do, shake this thing, get it moving around. And then you let this thing sit for an hour. And then we come back and we flush it out. Okay, so after you let the solution sit in your radiator for about an hour, you need to flush it out. So what I recommend doing is grabbing another jug of distilled water and flushing the entire radiator six to seven times. I did it in the shower. Um, basically, you just dump out your solution, um, leave two, two ends capped, dump it, shake it a little bit, and then refill it about six or seven different times, flushing that out. Now, um, this mixture, when it mixes in with any particles or whatnot that are inside of the radiator, kind of comes out in this like green hue. Um, so one way that you can tell that everything's flushed is once that liquid stops being green-ish. It's not super green, it's just kind of a light green. Or I say six or seven times is pretty good. Uses up maybe a quarter to three or to a third of the gallon of distilled water. And that's overkill, but I'd rather overkill it than uh, have a piece of metal in the loop or something. So with that being said, let me know what you guys thought about this in the comment section down below. The next video we're going to do is going to be talking all about the fittings because we now are starting to throw all of our fans onto our radiators and we're getting ready to put these inside of the case. So it is all finally starting to come together.